Welcome to Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. Load your quiver, camo up, and join us for another great episode of Outdoors Action. Here is your host, Bill Hoffman. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. I'm your host, Bill Hoffman, and this week's show is not at all about my podcast. It's about a bunch of other podcasts that I think you as an outdoors man or woman should be listening to. Now, I have to say this. Before we get started, there's going to be a bunch of podcasts that I listen to that are great podcasts that don't get mentioned in this episode. And one of the reasons for that is is of my show. And what I mean by my show is the formula of my show. I try to keep these things about 20 to 25 minutes. And if I tell you about all the podcasts I listen to, I'm going to run super long. So I very well may do another episode. But that doesn't mean that shows like The Bow Hunting Soul or... Knock on Archery, or Up North Journal, or Mike Avery's Outdoor Magazine, or the Nine Finger Chronicles. These are all shows, all outdoors-related shows that I listen to every episode. However, they're not necessarily getting profiled today because I had to whittle it down to a few five or six or so that I really wanted to tell you about and that I really want to talk about today. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. And these aren't in any specific order. They're really not because um, here's the thing about podcasting is you're going to find that we're not competitive with each other. And what I mean by that is, well, at least the ones that are approaching this podcasting thing, right? We enjoy talking about the outdoors. We enjoy producing content And guys, there's a lot of hours in the day. I understand. And, you know, maybe this comes from my, uh, my thoughts as a comedian or my thoughts as an author is that there's, you have a lot of choices for entertainment. It'd be ridiculous for me to only want you to choose me. That makes no sense whatsoever. So the more, um, podcasts are out there, the better, and especially if they're providing quality content. And I think one of the best out there as far as quality content, and you guys have heard me mention it before, this guy before, and I'm going to get him on the show, I promise. He is one of my very good friends in the outdoors industry. We happen to live relatively close together. His name is Jason Samkowiak, and of course, that means I'm talking about the traditional bow hunting and wilderness podcast. This is a no-frills show. Jason records these driving down the road in his vehicle. He doesn't do any editing that I know of uh, unless he gets a phone call every now and then, but he still leaves the ringer in and whatnot. But the, the value that Jason provides is immense. Not only is he super educational, you find after you listen to 10 or so podcasts that you start to look forward to his rants and you look forward to picking up on things that he says like phenomenal or top notch or, you know, just the things, the colloquial isms that we all use. And I, I really do enjoy Jason's show. You can find that tbwpodcast.com or just type in traditional bow hunting and wilderness podcast. The other thing that you should make sure you do with Jason, though, is you got to go to his YouTube page because as good as his podcast is, his YouTube page is incredible. And he is an Amazon affiliate, too. So, you know, you can click through his links and you can kind of do some shopping. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Throw some pocket some pocket cash his way via Amazon has nothing. It doesn't cost you a damn thing. You're going to buy stuff on Amazon anyway. And uh but you can really learn a lot on his YouTube channel. But I need to stress this. I, I, I really do. It's really important. You do not need to be a traditional bow hunter to learn from Jason. Because all the techniques, all the um, tips and tricks that he teaches about survival, about safety, about air lethality, about hunting in general all pertain to someone with a rifle in their hand for or, or a crossbow or, or whatever. Jason is a phenomenal teacher. He's a top-notch educator. See what I did there? 
but um, in, in so much that he actually has his own deer hunting course out there. And all the links you can find through his traditional bow hunting and wilderness podcast website. The course is like 75 bucks as I record this now. There is hours, I, I don't even know, I'm guessing 20 hours, but that's just a guess, guys of educational information there's not a better course out there you will it'll be the best 75 dollars you ever spend in you know what let me rant just a little bit if you're saying 75 dollars i can just go hunting dude keep your soda bottles for three months just just quit drinking coffee two days a week for three months and guess what you got you got the best hunting information available to you and $75 is such is, is nothing compared to what you're getting in return so listen to his podcast it's absolutely free go to his YouTube page it's all absolutely free and take his class you can do it in right in the um, it's all video based it's it's right in your home it is the best money you will spend in the outdoors all right moving on from that we're gonna stick with uh uh, hunting here in deer hunting specifically. And here's the thing. This is going to be a kind of a two for one. And if you guys are fans of this, you're going to understand, but we're going to go with meat eater, which is Steven Ranella's podcast. Uh, you may be more familiar with the meat eater TV show, or um, if you have net or Netflix right now, season eight of meat eater was just released. Also, Combined with that is going to be Wired to Hunt with Mark Kenyon. And the reason they're combined is these two kind of have joined forces. Now, they are still separate podcasts, uh, Meat Eater and Wired to Hunt. Uh, Meat Eater covers a lot of things. I like to say it's more educational in regards not to tips and tactics, but to things like conservation, things like um, like macro um scale thing. So if you think of like hunting individual bucks or, or hunting an individual species as like a micro thing, Meat Eater covers the macro of it, what it means to be an outdoorsman. And they cover a lot of hunting. They cover a lot of fishing, uh, hiking, outdoor stuff. Uh, they dabble a little bit inside politics and stuff like that. But one of the neat thing, they have biologists on and um, just it, it's a fantastic show. Um, it, and some people might not really be willing to invest two hours into a podcast. Uh, they're not all two-hour podcasts, but the, the thing is, once you learn the Meat Eater crew, once you learn the D Steve Ranella and um, Dirt Mouth and um, Giannis Patelis and Ryan Cavanaugh, or and maybe I'm messing up that word name. It's going off the top of my head here. Um, but the uh, once you... Callahan, Ryan Callahan. Uh, once you learn the characters kind of involved in, in their personalities and in their backgrounds, you really do get more of a sense of sitting around the campfire with these guys. It's fantastic. Now, on the flip side of that, Wired to Hunt is hosted by Mark Kenyon. Used to be separate, but Mark is now part of the Meat Eater crew. Uh, Mark covers more so white tail stuff. Uh, the reason I think I'm drawn to not only Jason Samkoviak and Stephen Ronelli and Mark Kenyon is they're all Michigan boys. Now Steve Ranella lives out in Montana and does a lot of Western hunting, but Mark Kenyon still calls Michigan home. And um, But you don't have to live in Michigan. Obviously, when it comes to whitetails, they're all over the country and they all behave relatively the same. So again, um, that uh, number two on this list, well, two and three, I guess you could say, is Meat Eater and Wired to Hunt. Uh, while we're on the Michigan kick, <laughs> might as well keep going with the Deer Hunter podcast. Uh, guess what this one's about, guys? Deer hunting. Again, this is Kevin Vistian and his group of buddies. And I really think what's important about the Deer Hunter podcast is that, again, you learn, you, you, you learn who these guys are. And uh, now this one can be a little bit more blue, I should say. They they will drop some swear words and whatnot. It's, it's generally, I guess, probably okay to listen to around the kids, but maybe not. I just, you know, pick and choose uh, between them. But the Deer Hunter podcast, tons of great information, tons of great humor. They kind of bust each other's balls a little bit in a fun way. But the neat thing about this is Kevin invested a whole lot of his life into making a movie a couple years ago, and it's called The Forest. And it's it's basically just detailing and journaling an entire season of hunting. 
And um, I, I think it's really important for us as outdoorsmen to support each other. And um, I'm going to be quite honest. I have not seen it yet. I will be. I'm going to order it right when I'm done recording this. So um, you can just uh, you can just Google Deer Hunter podcast. He's got the links right all through there to his uh, his film. And uh, they'll get the DVD out to you. It's uh, I've, I've heard nothing nothing but fantastic things about it so uh i think it's like the perfect dvd to have sitting in your deer camp because you know in your deer camp you you know you don't always have the cable tv uh going depend on, on how fancy you go but you usually have a dvd player and whatnot and you can have a hunt movies on i think the forest is like perfect for that yeah so uh the next one we're gonna hop to is a you know it can be entertaining but i'd like to say it's pretty much strictly educational and that's lethal podcast this is garrett and his crew the lethal podcast um what i like about the lethal podcast is they are all about lethality in archery and i'm kind of a i guess i'm an arrow geek nerd but but you know i like talking about people's setups especially as a trad guy but um, they don't all hunt trad, which is really cool. And, and what they really do focus on with the Lethal Podcast is, um, you know, like uh, building heavy arrows, building cut on contact arrows, high FOC, and um, they got a good mix too. So I think one of them's like in Missouri, one of them's in Oregon, or maybe it's Kentucky. Forgive me, guys. But you know, they hunt a, a bevy of different games. So you can absolutely learn a lot. The other really cool thing about the Lethal Podcast is they've partnered, they've recently announced a partnership with the Ashby Foundation. Uh, Dr. Ed Ashby is the, the king of archery, um, um, lethality studies. He's the guy that went over to Africa to prove that archery hunting was a viable tool. Um, he's responsible for, having archery seasons pretty much around the world in a lot of different um, categories. So definitely check out the Lethal Podcast. It's a good show, good group of guys, and uh, they got they got a good thing going. So speaking of a good group of guys and a good show, we're going to hop back onto that Michigan train, and we're going to go back to the traditional world real quick. And But it's not all traditional bow hunting, so hear me out. The Traditional Outdoors Podcast. The Traditional Outdoors Podcast is hosted by uh, Steve Angel and my personal friend, Nick View. And what's cool about this is, yes, they are traditional bow hunters, but they are, but it's not called traditional bow hunting. It's called traditional outdoors. So they're into a lot of other things that people would consider traditional, like fly fishing or um, different um bushwhacking or primitive camping uh you know making your own equipment uh just a lot of cool shows a lot of cool um topics one one of the best ones they had on uh one of the best shows i think i remember is uh it, it was steve angel that interviewed a guy that uh, all about financing your hunting trips and all about how you can do it on a working man's budget because that's what we are right we're, we're mostly all working guys and gals and uh it, it was just i learned so much and i was so inspired by that one episode it was just absolutely fantastic so that's uh that's definitely up there uh a side note uh steve angel has um a website called simply traditional he is a dealer of different types of broadheads and he makes one hell of a bowstring so if you're going to get uh new strings made in the traditional string world uh, i highly recommend steve angel strings they are fantastic quality and super customizable and along with that, Nick View, his co-host, is a fantastic author. He has a book called Life and Longbows. You can find it on um, lifeandlongbows.com, which is also his blog. But Life and Longbows is available on Amazon as well. Order yourself a copy. It's a good read, even if you're not a trad guy. Just kind of talks about the trials and tribulations of hunting close to big game and turkeys, if you consider them big game, but whatever. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get pretty darn close to um, wrapping this one up with one last podcast. Now, <laughs> I saved this one for last for a reason, because... They are very, very dirty. <laughs> they are very, very inappropriate. They are very, very 
I wouldn't say misogynistic, but they're uh, they're a bunch of guys to get together in a cabin, turn on the microphones, and it's locker room talk, man. They bust each other's balls. They are so mean to each other. It is fantastic. They you can just tell how good a friendship they really all have. However, they're not decent. They're not politically correct, but what they are is entertaining as hell, and that is the Wobbly Arrow Podcast. The Wobbly Arrow Podcast is not for the faint of heart. Do not listen to this podcast with your kids in the car, but it is fantastically entertaining Sometimes in a bad way. Sometimes it's a train wreck that you just can't stop listening to. But uh, so on this show, you got Jimmy, um, Justin Horn, uh, J-Mo, which is another guy named uh, Justin, and Ryan. There's a bunch of people, but man, are they fantastic. Jimmy used to own a bow shop and a 3D course, so he could, he approaches things from the technical side. Justin's kind of um, works on the railroad. He's a hardworking blue-collar car guy. Uh, J-Mo is a school teacher um, and an overall garbage of a person. No, I'm just kidding. J-Mo is a good good guy. J-Mo's, J-Mo's good people. But um, I have kind of become friends with these guys a little bit over the years. Uh, I've sent them in some comedy stuff. They've played some of my comedy stuff. Uh, so they're definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth a listen. It's not structured. <laughs> it's where the hell are they going? But one of the things I really like, they do this thing called Poacher of the Week, and they play this um, this pop song. It's like, that's how you know you effed up. But they, they don't bleep out the F, you know. But they've had big names on the show. I mean, T-Bone's been on the show um, it, amongst other, you know, bigger name people. They get Greg Poole on the show. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the Wobbly Arrow podcast, it's an adventure in itself, but it's its definitely worth a listen to. And, of course, the um, last show that I really think you should be listening to is mine. <laughs> and, uh, obviously, we're 19 minutes into this podcast. If you're listening to my show, you're a listener, you're already here. But I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for you know, spending a little bit of your time with me each week. It does mean a lot. Again, these podcasts, the thing to understand about people that are producing this content, for most of us, I should say, is the labor of love. It really is. Like, I'm not making any money doing this at all. Have there been some benefits? Absolutely. You know, I I pro staff for a few companies, uh, Tacticam, SpyPoint, amongst, you know, others, us. I should really have thought about this. Tacticam Spy Point and Sunrise Outdoors. Um, so I get some deals, you know, here and there, and I get some discounts. But the and I've been able to go on some really cool hunts, and I. But none of that really matters. None none of that is a benefit to this podcast because I don't have sponsors, right? So I'm not cutting. Oh, Langia, I forgot one. But the reason that. It makes a big difference. The reason why I really do the podcast is the friendships, guys. The friendships. Matt Hyatt, the owner of Langia, is one of my very, very good friends. Jacob Hacker, he's been on two episodes already. We're going to do a third one pretty soon with Spy Point Trail Cameras. Is one of my best friends in the entire world. You know, I've built these relationships with people because of this podcast and because of their podcast. And, and you sit here and you listen to people and you have them in your ears and they tell you about their life and you feel just like your friends. And that's what's so great. I knew Jason Samkowiak long before I ever met him. I knew all about him. Everything, so much about his life. I knew his wife's name, his kid's name. I knew about, you know, the tragedy of his son passing away. Never met him. That's how important podcasts can be to a friendship. That's how that's how we as outdoor media content providers make ourselves available to you. And the only thing we ask in return is your time. That's it. I don't want money from you guys. I don't I don't need anything. 
Well, I guess I could use some reviews if you guys want to go and like go on to whatever listening device you're using, Stitcher, iTunes, YouTube, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, leave a review, leave a thumbs up, give me five stars. Other than that, just enjoy what we put out. Just be active on the Facebook page and let me know what you think. Or the Instagram, which is Hoffman's Hunting Heritage on both. That's all I want. I just want time with you guys. And I want you guys to enjoy what I'm putting out. And I think you are. And I really do appreciate everything you guys have done for me. I appreciate the friendships I've been able to build because of podcasting. And I appreciate the education I've been able to receive, mostly for free, through all these, and entertainment, education and entertainment, through all these hours upon hours that I've spent listening to all the podcasts that I told you about today, and many more. I listened to a bunch of other ones too. So anyway, I'm going to uh, get out of here with that. Again, check out those podcasts. They are all absolutely great you got the traditional bow hunting and wilderness podcast with jason samkoviak the meat eater and wire to hunt podcast with steve ranella mark kenyon the deer hunter podcast with kevin vistian the lethal podcast with garrett and his crew of course don't forget i mentioned traditional outdoors podcast with steve angel and nick view and last and certainly least <laughs> the wobbly arrow podcast with jimmy justin and jmo all right as we speak, I am leaving in the morning for deer camp. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be gone just a just a long weekend, a long six-day weekend. It's almost a week, really. And I uh, really look forward to hitting that northern Michigan public land. I'll be posting some pictures on Instagram and Facebook, but uh, not too sure about if we're going to get a podcast in for next week uh, and what day it'll come out. But either way, I'm going to be getting outdoors. You know why? Because it's a wild place to be. Thank you for listening to this episode of Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. Get outdoors. It's a wild place to be. 